I'm so overwhelmed, you know. All the energy that I'm getting. It's truly nice to be here, actually. I like it. Not that I can see any of you with all the lights in my eyes. So we're going to have this really wonderful session after all the enlightening talks we've had. It's actually been really fantastic listening to all the amazing speakers before me. And I, just, I didn't realize I was going to be the final one. So now that I have to do the honors of closing, so we're going to have a lovely chat. I'm going to share some of my experiences. And uh, at any point of time, if any of you have any questions, just raise your hand, and I'd love to interact. So I'm going to begin with something really basic. And I would love your response. Are you all here? Yes. Yeah, that's good. So I want you guys to tell me, you can only share what you have. Do you agree with me? Yes? yes? So if you're a happy person, what can you share? And if you're a sad person? So what do we get from that? Sorry? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. No, from what I have gathered is that uh, you need to be happy. If you want to give happiness, of course, if you don't want to give happiness, then you can choose unhappiness. There's no problem with that also. And everybody's looking confused. Why is this fashion designer talking about happiness? What has that got to do with it? Is that right? Yes or no? Well, I'm sharing this because in India, we are brought up or we are programmed to believe that we Seva. We are taught this. Not that any of us believe in it or do it. So what happens in that process is that you are asked to do things that you are not happy to do. So that makes you unhappy. So what I have learned is make yourself your first priority. That does not mean that you're being selfish. Because if I'm not going to be happy, I can't make you happy. And there is nothing wrong in making yourself happy. As long as you're not harming or hurting anyone. So guys, how about making yourself happy? It's really not that difficult. Also, most people who live in big cities, you know, over a period of time, we start enjoying all the sadness. We actually derive pleasure out of it. All the misery. And we are always in a complaining mode. Education achhi nahi hai, sewage system achha nahi hai, police achhi nahi hai, sab kuch achha nahi hai. We actually enjoy saying that, na? So basically, life is the choices that you make. You are responsible for everything that happens in your life. Every single thing. No mummy, no papa, no teacher. It's all your own doing. Also, a lot of times I get asked this question. You know, we've, we've done, uh, we've studied really hard, we've practiced, we've done everything, but we are not successful. What does that indicate? Something is lacking. That's true. If you're not getting the desired results you're looking for, it simply shows that you are doing something which you shouldn't be doing. So how about reversing, backtrack, see what all you did. And you'll be amazed that 90% of the population spends their entire life doing the same mistake again and again. And then what do we do? We blame God. We blame everyone around us. 
for everything that is not right in our life we blame everything around us but does that help does blaming other people help yes or no and we still do it we even hate people for that we blame people and we start hating them you can try these are all escape routes which don't lead anywhere so let's begin with some fashion gyan oh, i see some people smiling now so if at any any point of time you have anything to ask me please feel free so i'd like to know what is the importance of fashion according to you guys feel good okay interesting confidence mm -hmm. very good actually what i have learned or what i have experienced in 25 years of my uh, experience of being a fashion designer that fashion is actually a reflection of what is happening currently whether it's social conditioning whether it's uh, economics whether it's politics entertainment everything that's happening around you fashion is a reflection of it and let me give you a quick example see 10 years ago it was unimaginable to think that a young girl who goes to college can wear a strappy camisole with a pair of skinny jeans and take a bus to college it was just not accepted but now the same attire is accepted the parents also accepted it. it's not a problem so it just shows how our social conditioning is changed our awareness our exposure so this is a quick example why is everybody so serious that's nice also the fact that we no longer wear clothes to protect our body or to cover our body the way we choose to attire ourselves says a lot about us we communicate a lot about our state of mind our current state uh, that we are in you know we are in a particular mood let me give you another quick example this young girl watches um, a hindi movie where the where the actress is wearing very ethnic clothes so next morning she's going to school and she's going to college and she's in that state of mind actually let's take the movie chandni are you guys aware of the movie so for example if you have watched chandni the next morning you are going to school you are college and you are in that state of mind so you dress accordingly you know you will wear uh, a nice breezy suit you will wear lots of bangles very ethnic so you are waiting to take your bus uh, to go to college two young boys cross you so you guys haven't spoken to each other they are just riding past so what is their perception okay boys what is your perception going to be if you see a girl like that come on i know you guys are not shy sorry cultural festival nice very interesting traditional basically in not so many words they would say benji <laughs> isn't it right yes. ah benji hai to theek hai now the same girl that evening watches greece have you seen greece you guys know what is greece no 
I'm actually quite surprised because I come across a lot of students who aspire to be fashion, stu uh, fashion design students and their knowledge of cinema is pretty poor because cinema plays a very significant role in getting influenced and also in influencing in terms of design. So Greece is one of these iconic movies which is from the 1960s <coughs> where they wear very skinny, super tight clothes. So she's watched that movie. So she's in a Greece state of mind. So she decides to wear her skinny jeans and a super tight top and really big heels. So the same boys will pass by and what is their perception going to be? Boys? Perception? Yeah, see, interesting, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> so in not so many words, what you're trying to say is, wow, what a hottie, right? And what has she done? She has just changed her clothes. She's the same person, but she's conveying a different state of mind. In fact, I do a lot of these sessions where I do a personality analysis based on your attire. It is really interesting. And I have to admit that 90% it comes out true of what you're thinking, who you are, lots of things you, you actually convey through your clothing. The color, the prints, the style, the fabrics. <coughs> No questions till now? Yes, please. Hello, sir. I would like to ask what is the difference between fashion and style? Fashion and style. Hmm. You know, all style is not fashion. And also style is individual. You have heard that style is very style. You have heard that this is style. Isn't it? So fashion is something that applies to a mass body. A big bunch of people, let's say. And style is individual. Or it can be in a smaller pocket. For example, uh, if you've heard the term Bollywood style. So that means you already know. The minute I've used the terminology, so what comes to your mind? Lots of flying saris. There are certain images that come to your mind. So this is one of the main differences. Is that good? So any more questions? No questions? Hello, sir. So I wanted to ask, like you say, uh, you can, uh, you uh, conduct psychological tests depending upon what a person weighs. Like you can uh, judge, like... No, no, it's not a psychological test. Okay. It's just an analysis. Yeah, analysis on what you're wearing. So sir, maybe today my mood is to wear a vibrant color and tomorrow I wear a dull color. So mm -hmm. how will you judge a person upon that? No, like? but it also conveys your current state of mind. Okay. For example, you've come here for the session. Right. And from what I can figure out, you're wearing a red blouse? Yeah, red kurti. Okay. So you are not going to wear this every day and you are not in this state of mind every day right so from whatever little i can figure out <laughs> the idea of wearing red comes 
from the fact that you wish to be noticed. Okay. Or you may be a shy person. And I don't, I'm not sure that you go for these kind of events a lot. I am doubtful. And also the fact that this could be one of the few times that you've actually asked a question like this. Have you? Uh, you're right. Or maybe it can be like, I just opened my wardrobe and I found, okay, today I should wear this. I just took it out. By like, the way, there is no such thing as coincidence. Okay. Nothing. Everything that is happening in your life is your decision. You know, we've all gone through this where we, we say things like, oh, I have no choice. I had no choice. But what I say, that's bullshit. You always have a choice. Yeah. The fact that you bought it or you have it in your wardrobe means you've already approved of it. And it's not that you open the wardrobe or ye kai niche daba hua tha aur aapka haath gaya aur nikal gaya. It's a red color. Do you wear red color every day? Do you know of anyone who can wear a red color every day? Ha, that is a possibility. So you see, red is always associated with a special moment. Let me give you a quick example. How difficult it is to get the right shade of red lipstick. Tell me. Or a red shoe, the right shade or a red handbag, or a red dress. I still haven't come across any woman who's got all of these right in a wardrobe. No matter how big or famous or style diva they may be. Red is a very powerful color. It's also as we all know, is connected to Ma Durga. So that instant, instantly gives you that energy. You know, everything around us, including us, we are all energy. So whether it's clothes, whether it's food, whether it's people, everything is a different source of energy. Some energies you can visualize, some you can see, some you can't. See, from whatever foggy picture I could see from here, I could tell you this much. So if you sit in front of me, you might get into trouble. <laughs> like a lot of times I do this and people go, how do you know? How do you know? I'm like your husband came and told me. <laughs> a lot of times it's interesting when you have both the husband and wife. They both are giving each other a look. How come this guy knows everything? <laughs> Even we don't share this. <laughs> so any more questions, guys? I mean, I can do a lot of talking. Patient for friends or patient for others? Sorry? Patient is for others or patient is for self? Look, I mean, I that you have to be दो तीन बीमारी हैं बहुत ज़्यादा। एक तो लोग क्या कहेंगे? अच्छा दूसरा है बेचारा। हर कोई बेचारा है। ये भी बेचारा, वो भी बेचारा, सब बेचारे। क्यों बेचारे मुझे समझ नहीं आई। In fact, my mother-in-law is so obsessed with the word कि 16 साल तक तो मैं चुपचाप सुनता रहा। अगले साल से मैंने बोल दिया कि ये क्या बिचारा बिचारा लगा रखा है आपने हर कोई बिचारा है घर में काम कर रहा है बिचारा सब्जी वाला आया वो बिचारा 
मैं भी बेचारा करोड़पति भी बेचारा शाहरुख खान भी बेचारा आई एम लाइक मैंने मैंने को कहा कोई बेचारा नहीं है सब ऐश कर रहे हैं सब मजे कर रहे हैं सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू यू नीड टू डू इट फॉर योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट अगर आपको खुद अपने फैशन पसंद आएंगे तभी आप दूसरे लोगों पे अच्छे कपड़े अप्रिशिएट करेंगे सब कुछ खुद से शुरू होना है आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग विच आई हैव टेकन माई इंटायर लाइफ टू रियलाइज विच इज दैट आई रीच द स्टेज वेयर आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स इन लाइफ एंड according to a lot of people i have achieved a lot of things so you know you look at your little things to do your list ye bhi kar liya wo bhi kar liya award bhi jeet liya sab kuch bahut sari cheeze kar li but i always kept feeling that there was a void there was something that was missing like on paper if you look at my profile or my cv it looks very impressive अरे इस बंदे ने तो सब कुछ कर लिया ये तो इंटीरियर्स भी करता है ये भी करता है वो भी करता है सब कुछ करता है देन आई वाज वंडरिंग दैट व्हाई इज इट दैट आई एम नॉट फीलिंग कंप्लीट एंड गेस व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज मिसिंग दैट आई दैट कुड हैव बीन मिसिंग दैट वन एस्पेक्ट सॉरी no i think i worked on the happiness bit so mhm mm wo bhi hai <laughs> no luckily that worked in my favor so the one thing that was missing in my life and is missing in lives of most of us when i say most i would say 99.9% of the people that i know is lack of compassion i have figured out this is the only answer to all the problems in the world compassion ट्राई करके देखिए आप और हिंदुस्तान में तो बिल्कुल ही नहीं है कंपैशन वो भी ट्राई करके देख लीजिए सो लैक ऑफ कंपैशन इज समथिंग विच इज डिस्कनेक्टिंग अस तभी तो हमारे को कुछ पसंद नहीं है लाइक दिस यंग मैन दैट वी हैड यंग स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम Bangalore I'm so glad he was honest He says I don't like anything I don't know what happiness is Luckily happiness is not a commodity And you can have it any time you want free of cost But we program to believe Ke ye aayega to main happy ho jaunga and what are we doing in the process we are losing the moment also we experience this a lot of times you ask people kya chal raha hai yaar are wohi chal raha hai yaar wohi zindagi i get amazed how can you make a statement like that do you know that no two moments are the same and no matter what you do you can never experience it again we can try to experience it but you can keep trying this moment is gone so i decided what a fool i have been jab mujhe ye nahi pata ki agle moment pe i have no control over it why am i getting so worried i want to live in the moment khas kar ke jab aapko pata hai ki koi kaam ab kal subah hi ho sakta hai पूरी रात नहीं हो सकता अब उसके बारे में सोच सोच के मैं क्यों अपना खून जलाऊंगा 
اس کا مطلب یہ بھی نہیں ہے کہ آپ فیوچر کو رفا دفا کر دو دا امپورٹنٹ تھنگ از ٹو بیلنس سو ہو ایوز ان ہیپی ہیئر آئی ہیو ون سمپل تھنگ ٹو ٹیل یو یور لائف از ناٹ ان بیلنس اور آپ کو پتا ہے کہ اگر ایک آپ کی کار کا ایک بھی ٹائر پنچر ہو جائے تو بس کام تمام سو لرن ٹو بیلنس دس از ون تھنگ دیٹ آئی تھنک دیٹ از سیریسلی مسنگ ود ان آس ود ان آل دا دیسیز اٹس انٹرسٹنگ اگین اٹس اے چوائس وی میکنگ فار ایگزامپل یو گو فار این انڈین ویڈنگ تو وہاں آپ دیکھیں گے جو عورتیں ہیں وہ ہیوی کپڑے پہنتی ہیں ہیوی میک اپ ہیوی جولری اور کافی کیسز میں خود بھی ہیوی تو اب چکر یہ ہو جاتا ہے کہ سب کچھ ہی ہیوی ہے اچھا اور واپس اگر آپ پارٹی سے واپس جا رہے ہیں سو اف یو آر اے بردر اور ہسبینڈ اور فادر چانسز آر یو ول بی آسٹ ارے آپ نے تو کچھ کہا ہی نہیں میں کیسے دکھ رہی ہوں پر کیسے کہے سب کے سب ایک جیسے دکھ رہے تھے آپ ان میں سے آپ دیکھیں گے کہ کوئی ایک لیڈی ہوگی جس نے ایک دم سمپل کپڑے پہنے ہوں گے یا اس قسم کے کپڑے پہنے ہوں گے جو کمپلیمنٹ کر رہے ہیں ان کو فیبرک سٹائل مطلب کہ اگر ساڑی ہلکی ہے تو جولری ہیوی ہے جولری ہلکی ہے تو ساڑی ہیوی ہے اٹس بیلنسڈ اور سب لوگ اس آنٹی کو ضرور یاد کریں گے ارے وہ بہت اچھی دکھ رہی تھی بیکاز معاملہ بیلنس تھا اب بیلنس نہیں ہوگا تو پھر گڑبڑ ہو جائے گی نا کہانی تو اب آپ چوز کیجیے بیلنس کرنا چاہتے ہیں کہ نہیں اور کئی بار تو آپ شادی میں چل رہے ہو تو ایسا لگتا ہے پوری جولری کی دکان پہن لی کیوں لوگ کیا کہیں گے اس لیے لوگ کیا کہیں گے اس لیے ساری جولری پہن لیتی ہوں میں ایک ہی باری میں تو یہ دو جو خطرناک بیماریاں ہیں ہماری اس سے جان چھوٹ جائے اینڈ یو یو نو یو آل یگ پیپل تو یو کین میک دس ڈفرینس اسٹارٹ لیونگ فار یور سیلف خود خوش تو سب کو خوش کر سکتے ہو اسپیشلی آل دا یگ لیڈیز ہیئر یو ہیو اے فا بگر رول دین دا بوائز بیکاز یو گن ٹو بی دا فیوچر ٹیچرز مدرز موسٹ امپارٹنٹ You know, we all come across road rage and lots of urban problems that we are facing. What do you think is the reason? Any idea? No ideas. Because those kids have not learned anything else. And where did they learn? From the mother. زیادہ تر لوگ سوچتے ہیں ہمارا بچہ تو بہت اچھے اسکول میں جاتا ہے اسکول میں تو بچہ صرف آٹھ سال آٹھ گھنٹے بتاتا ہے سو دا ریسٹ آف دا سکسٹین آرز آر پیڑی مچ ایٹ ہوم سو یو گن ٹو بی دا فیوچر پیرنٹس وی ریئلی نیڈ یور ہیلپ وائی از اٹ سو ڈیفیکلٹ فار انڈینس ٹو کیو آپ کہو کسی کو وہ کہے گا کیوں اور اگر آپ کی باری بھی ہے تو ایک یہاں کھڑا ہو جائے گا ایک یہاں کھڑا ہو جائے گا یا لالا جی پیچھے اپنا پیڑ لے کے ارے بھائی ہمارا ماننا ہے کہ ہم سپر پاور ہیں یا ہم سپر پاور بننے والے ہیں آپ لوگوں کا ماننا ہے سیریسلی کتنے سال ہو گئے ہمارے انڈیپینڈنس کو چلو سکسٹی نائن سیونٹی کے بیچ میں ٹھیک ہے سب پارٹی خوش پر آپ ایک بات بتائیں ہم آپ کو لگتا ہے کہ جو مالز بنے ہیں 
वो क्या सिग्निफाई करते हैं इंडिया में कि हम बहुत मॉडर्न है क्या कहना है आपका कि हम बहुत एडवांस हो गए हैं बहुत डेवलपमेंट है हमारी कंट्री में बताओ आप सब आई नो यू ऑल लव टू गो टू द मॉल टेल मी यस और नो नो सो वॉट इज इट सिग्निफाई सॉरी नो बट वॉट डज इट सिग्निफाई टू यू अर्बनाइजेशन सो आई एम एज्यूमिंग दैट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू हैव ट्रेवल बाय एयर हैव यू गाइज ओके तो मतलब कि बस और ट्रेन में तो आप गए ही हो अब आप मुझे एक बात बताएं कि हम इतने सुपर पावर हैं बट वी स्टिल Do not know how to use a loom. हम सुपर पावर कैसे बन सकते हैं पब्लिक लू जाके देख लीजिए आप आप खैर क्या देख लीजिए आपको पता ही है सो इफ यू स्टिल डू नॉट आई मीन दीज आर बेसिक थिंग्स नो वन वॉन्ट्स टू क्यू You want to pee anywhere? I mean, what's wrong with us? Or, पढ़ना mm-hmm. हर कोई चाहता है सबसे बढ़िया कॉलेज में और सबसे बढ़िया स्कूल में. तो डिग्री कट्टे करने से कुछ भी नहीं होगा. आपने देखा जब घर की सफाई होती है तो क्या होता है? सब कूड़ा बाहर. और तो और बाहर जो आपकी एंट्रेंस है एकदम क्लियर हो जाती है क्लीन योर मेड विल क्लीन इट वो लक्ष्मण रेखा के बाहर सब सो वी आर वेरी यू नो वी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डायसेक्टिंग आर सेल्फ इवन विद इन द सोसाइटी and how extremely racist we are you know i'm not trying to run indians down i'm just trying to to share that these are our realities ek taraf to aap chahte ho ki aap international hero bano in whatever area of life whether it's corporate sector or whatever you wish to achieve but jab tak aapka base hi nahi hai aapko pata hai na neev dalni padti hai ghar ke liye sabko pata hai na तो अगर आपकी नीवी नहीं है तो फिर बिल्डिंग कैसे बनेगी आई मीन आई एम अवेयर दैट आई एम आई वॉज सपोज टू टॉक अबाउट फैशन बट इवन एज फार एज फैशन इज कंसर्न जब आपका बेस ही नहीं है अच्छा जो हमारे यहां का फैशन है एकदम भेड़ चाल है सलमान खान ने यह पहना सब सलमान खान बन गए इसमें कुछ अच्छा बुरा नहीं है पर मैं ये आपसे बताना चाह रहा हूं कि हम सब यूनिक हैं आप बताएं कि आप जैसा कोई और है दुनिया में एनी वन नोज ऑफकोर्स वी वॉल हर्ड स्टोरीज हम जैसे सात लोग दिखते हैं मे बी मे बी समन हु लुक्स लाइक यू बट दैट्स नॉट यू so the day you start realizing how unique you are uska matlab ye nahi hai ki chane ke jhad pe chad jao not a good idea but just learn to be grateful that you are one original piece there's no one else like you for me that's good enough to know this to have the awareness that i am unique has brought me right in front of you today and you all have the potential sab badi ghani soch mein hai ki ye kaise ho sakta hai mera ye manna hai ki agar main kar sakta hu to koi bhi kar sakta hai so 
So any questions? Jag jao bhai, sab jag jao. Flight to maine pakadni hai. Aapko to ghar jana hai. Koi tension nahi hai. So, as you said that uh, you analyze people. So, so. Where are you? Ah. <coughs> so you said that you analyze people on the basis of their fashion. But don't you think that fashion is just a masquerade? That sometimes you feel like, let's take an example of the uh, film stars and the actresses. Mm -hmm. Like they go to the event, they are very tired, but they still put up the best fashion they could. So if you judge that person on the basis of their fashion, don't you think that it's just a masquerade that they have uh, been showing you? That's what I'm trying to share with you that you cannot hide because everything that you wear still reflects your choice and it signifies and it clearly shows me your state of mind. That's not true. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not married. <laughs> you have no clue. <laughs> Aisi baat nahi hai. Okay. Let's take a couple fight, a fought. Okay. Then they went to a marriage, but the wife still uh, put up the best fashion she could. And now you were there to analyze her. What were your view? What would be your views on the woman? Like. Could you say that she is happy about that thing that she is wearing? Because her mood no, no, at no, that no, time no. was you're, not you're, you're, you're getting me wrong. I am only sharing what you are sharing with me. Do you understand? I am not imagining it. You are standing in front of me and you are giving me the information. I am no magician. Thank you. So, no, you are you are asking me something which is not there and I'm also not passing a judgment you are getting it wrong it's a very light-hearted um, exercise that we do and it's a lot of fun the whole idea is to share how um, what you share what you wear can be so interactive do you know how many times you can actually start a conversation because of what you're wearing? Isn't it? So for people who are a little shy, I think this is a great way. And one thing that always works in all fashion. Thud bolo. Everybody loves to be praised. And even if they know that you're telling lies, but they still love it. So let me give all the boys one little trick. So whenever you meet all the ladies, you just tell them, oh my God, you've lost so much weight. <laughs> Even if she's put on five kgs, she knows. But you're gonna be the hero for the evening, trust me. A lot of times I would do this, not because I'm trying to fool you, because I realize अगर आपकी शाम बन जाए मेरे छोटा सा झूठ बोलने से क्या फर्क पड़ता है? तो मैंने देखा है कि 100 किलो के लोग अपने आप को उनको लगता है कि जैसे मेरी 24 कमर हो गई है, जो लचक है। So a lie is always it's not such a bad thing you know if it can make other people happy go for it. Hello hello sir Last question. Yeah, hello. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I yes. have a question that uh, you have said that the women who uh, wear uh, salwar suit is a bhenji type and who wears uh, jeans kind of is a haughty. So do you really think that uh, the dressing or the fashion is responsible, uh, responsible for the women's harassment or the rape cases increasing in India? You again got it wrong. I am just sharing what a young person's perspective would be. Okay. Okay. आप खुद बताएं ना 
آپ کا کیا آپ آپ کیسے پرسیو کریں گی اف یو سی اے یگ لیڈی یو ٹیل اور بائی دا وے آپ کے پہناوے اور ریپ کا کوئی کنیکشن نہیں ہے مطلب کہ یہ یہ تو ہمارا ماننا ہو گیا نا کہ کسی نے منی اسکرٹ پہنی ہے تو اس کا مطلب He's inviting trouble. See, this is very interesting that this is the last question. This is whose belief? Whose belief is it? Is it your belief? No. But you have chosen to buy it. Zara tar adnyo ne is baare mein socha hi nahi kabhi. Ki agar kisi ladki ne tang kapde pehne hai. میرا یہ ماننا ہے کہ آپ جو مرضی پہنیے ایز لانگ ایز یو آر لوکنگ گریس فل چاہے وہ چھوٹے کپڑے ہیں چاہے ڈھکے ہیں چاہے نہیں ڈھکے ہیں ایز لانگ ایز یو آر گریس فل آئی ڈونٹ سی اے پرابلم پرابلم دیکھنے والوں کی ہے مطلب کہ ہم سب یہ کہہ رہے ہیں کہ کیمرے میں ایک پرابلم ہے کیمرے میں تو پرابلم نہیں ہے اب آپ جس اینگل سے فوٹو کھینچو گے آپ کہو جی میں نیچے کے اینگل سے فوٹو کھینچ رہا ہوں اسکرٹ تو بہت چھوٹی ہے تو اس میں کیمرے کی پرابلم نہیں ہے نا جو اینگل بنا رہا ہے اس کی پرابلم ہے اور یہ آپ کی پرسیپشن ہے میں سمجھاتا ہوں آپ کو جو انسان مرڈر ریپ یا اس قسم کے کرائم کرتا ہے ان کو نہیں لگتا وہ کچھ غلط کر رہے ہیں اٹ ان کو لگتا ہے نہیں ٹھیک ہے آپ نے دیکھا کہ کتنے جب یہ ریپ کیسز ہوتے ہیں اسپیشلی ان اسمال ٹاؤن تو وہاں کے بڑے بڑے کیا کہتے ہیں لڑکوں سے غلطی ہو جاتی ہے جو بچہ اس سوچ کے ساتھ بڑا ہوگا وہ ریپ ہی کرے گا <laughs> 